can we learn to wheelie the Sauron X in one day? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. In this video, we'll be learning how to wheelie the Suron X for the very first time. E-bike wheelie expert Moto Matt will be our personal wheelie trainer as he guides us with some tips and tricks. Can we pull it off? Stick around to find out. Uh, another guy's coming with, with the same bike, oh. and he's actually going to teach me how to wheelie for the first oh, time. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah. if you want to see me bust my. <laughs> how fast does it go? Yeah. You could make these things go up to like 70 miles per hour. Yeah. We're, we're not going to go that fast, though. So. We're going to do wheelies at like 10, 15 miles per hour, yeah, keep it slow. I might have to copy one of those once I get a little bit. Yeah, those things, those things do look cool. It's also street legal, right? Technically not. If you're doing something stupid on the street, like you'll right. get caught. That bike looks real it's nice, cool, bro. bro. Where did you find that? Some kid back in town. Traded the van for it straight up. All right, we're back with Moto Matt, who in the last video showed us some awesome wheelies, gave us some awesome tips and techniques for how to wheelie. Oh, what is that? Just some random music I found. Random music? Dude, you're editing an e-bike wheelie montage. It needs to be way more hype than that. You need epidemic sound. Epidemic sound? Epidemic sound makes using royalty-free music even simpler through monthly subscriptions, which give you full access to professionally produced high-quality tracks. I go through so much music on these videos. How many tracks do we get? You get access to over 30,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects, always royalty-free. All that sounds good, but I'm trying not to get any copyright strikes on these videos. I put too much work into them. Rick, when you sign up, you connect your social media channels and accounts so you can publish your content without having to worry about it being taken down. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. That's it right there. The video is way better now. And yours can be too. Get access to a full library of royalty-free music at epidemicsound.com. Why do you think I can pull this off? It's all about practice. We'll see how it goes. And it's scary at first. Uh, it just, you know, it takes time to get used to it. I was tempted to practice by, by myself, but I really wanted to wait for Matt just because I think it'll be easier for me to adjust and to correct having someone who's like done this. Yep, you got the sprocket on there, that's good. Got the DD bar, that's good. Rear brake feels good. That's how you want it. You don't want it where it's, you can squeeze it all the way and it hits your knuckles before it stops. I think you're ready. I would do foot pegs eventually. Yep. These lowering brackets are really nice. Good quality. Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. Oh yeah, it's a lot lower. So the bike is lowered. Probably the rebound is a little bit different. The preload is different. I notice these forks are different than Dom's. Yeah, those, those are the fast ace forks. Yeah, it feels good, it feels better than Dom's. See, the thing is, Matt and Dom make it look so easy. It gives you that confidence that you can pull it off. Let's see if I can do it. Um, am I keeping it on sport mode? Yes, I need sport mode. Okay. I started by just nailing the gas and going up, but be careful. I'd start doing some like little ones, kind of like this. Don't even worry about bouncing, just hit the gas. Just get it up. Yeah, just hit the gas and go up. There you go. Did a little one. Give it more gas. You're doing good. It's going up about this high. There you go. Go slower when you start. Um, if you're going too fast, it's gonna be hard to get it up. So if you're kind of creeping, and then just nail the gas, it'll go up. But remember, uh, keep your finger on your brake in case something, in case you go way too far. Just concentrate on nailing it so you slam back down. So just go slow and just. Do 
Johnny, getting it up. I feel like I'm going too fast. Yeah, you're gonna go fast at first. It's just gonna be getting used to going further and further and further up without getting too scared. You're going up about maybe this high. Uh -huh. I mean, the balance points, it's way up. It's, it's up here. I mean, the bike like up here is balance. Hey Rick, try really like, like really cracking the throttle, like f faster. Faster. There you go. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. How's it feeling? Feels better. Feels scary? It's getting getting more comfortable. There you go. <sighs> this is hard. You got uh, you got scared on that one. You're bringing it up and then you're leaning forward towards the bars uh -huh. and it's kind of keeping you down. Probably because you're just, you know, getting used to it. One, and two, it's scary. As you get more uncomfortable, you start leaning back and that keeps the bike up. It's your first day, it's your first 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be, it's scary and just something you gotta get used to. It's, your body has to gradually feel it start coming up more and more and getting used to it. If you don't have the magic, no amount of wishing will make it so. So at this point, I started to get physically tired from lifting the bike and slamming down. It really felt like my mind was playing tricks on me, like that natural fear of looping was preventing me from finding the balance point. On top of that, it was starting to rain and I began to feel pressure of trying to nail a proper wheelie before we had to end the session. you in your brain you know to hit this hit the, the brake yeah. it's important because you're, you're starting to get up there now there you go how's it feel feels good I'm getting tired now yeah you're, you're getting it though and you'll slowly start getting more comfortable bringing it up further and further. Eventually you'll keep hitting the gas and you'll just keep power wheeling for a while too. Uh -huh. You'll do that for a while and then you'll finally get to a point where you're balancing it. But it just takes time. There's really no shortcuts to it. It's, you yeah. know, it's putting the hours in, you know what I mean? Every day going out and trying to wheelie for half an hour to an hour. Okay. And then a couple weeks you should be getting pretty good at it. I felt like I didn't make much progress on day two the fear of looping the bike was still blocking me from finding the balance point. I also started to get real dizzy from going around in circles in a tiny parking lot. Also, the weather wouldn't be on my side as it would rain for the next few days. You know, I think just the, the physical aspects of like getting the bike up and down and then it's slamming down, it's hard. So I feel like I'm getting frustrated that I'm not picking it up real quick and so I'm kind of making these really dumb errors. After watching, you know, all the great wheelie tutorial videos on the Suron on YouTube, it all just kind of goes out the window when you actually start trying to apply it. I feel like I'm trying, I'm finding in some ways that sweet spot, but it's still a little bit far away from me right now. Taking a little bit of a five minute break just to kind of regain my strength and to situate my my head mentally is, um, I think what I'm gonna do each time I come out to practice. Then I found something that I think might help my training and it's called the wheelie guard. And it's kind of like a cheat code for learning how to wheelie because it acts as a safety net to prevent you from looping the bike. So I think that if I can increase my confidence, it'll increase my skill progression at a faster rate. Here's the thing, I couldn't find any information on the wheelie guard and if it was compatible with the Suron X. I noticed that the wheelie guard was available on the Grit Shift website. Manny and Josh over at Grit Shift actually responded to me and they said that one of their team members installed it on their Suron X but it does take some modification.
I placed my order on Tuesday and it arrived Friday. Okay, here it is, our grit shift wheelie guard. Super excited about this thing. And grit shift actually walked us through how to install this on the Suron. This is really cool. This is a nice kit. We can't wait to put this on. Let's do it. I can't say enough good things about grit shift's customer service. So definitely check them out. Check out their website. They have a bunch of Suron products and dirt bike products. I'll put them in the links below. So that's how we tried to wheelie the Suron for the first time. While it wasn't a total success, we can't wait to try the wheelie guard and build up our confidence and muscle memory. Big shout out to Moto Matt and Dom for helping us train and Manny and Josh over at Gritshift for walking us through the wheelie guard install. In the next video, we'll do a full review and demo of the wheelie guard and hopefully it'll also help you guys learn how to wheelie. And honestly, if we can learn how to wheelie, anyone can. If you wanna dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.